Hey guys, it's Jen and I have a fun video for the Alta New April release. I want to show you some of the products that are being released before I get into a process video. I'll be creating several projects, but I'm going to do one in a process video and then I'll show you the rest um, at the end of the video. But I wanted to show you some of the fun new products that are coming out. One of them is this washi tape. It is called Botanical Rhapsody and it is black and white florals and it's one of the big washies which I love. Uh, you rem may remember me using this washi tape on past uh, videos but I absolutely love their large washi tapes. They're great for cards, super easy to make a beautiful card using the washi tape. Um, there's also this one which is a little bit smaller. It is three inches in uh, height and it's called gold string. There are a couple other washi tapes as well that I don't have. And then I wanted to show you some of the things that I'll be using. So this is a nice small new set. It's called Floral Spray. Very cute, it's very great price point for a small set like this. And it says hello and thank you. You could make nice little um, cards with this. Uh, before I show you those, I'll show you the rest of the stamps that I have. Uh, this one's called Delicate Flower Bed, and I love this one because it doesn't have cut and clear edges, so you could use this on a card and it would fill a card print, or you could use it on a scrapbook page and just stamp it um, over again to make a larger background, which I may end up trying. Um, there is this one that is called Weekend Doodles, and I absolutely love these. These are great, again, for scrapbook layouts and for cards. I love the doodly uh, flowers on this set. Very, very cute. And it also, there's a coordinating die set if you are interested in that. Lots of good sentiments for cards on here as well. Um, there is a study in watercolor. So this is just like um, some solid image flowers, the silhouettes of some flowers, which I think is a fun idea and uh, a great way to showcase these stamps. You can see, I love that on the backs of all of their uh, stamping, they show you ways to use it. So you could stamp this in a circular way to, to make a frame and um, stamp a sentiment in the center. That would be really cute. And there is a coordinating die set for that as well. The sentiments on this one say, thank you for always being there for me or for all your kindness. So you can coordinate those together. And then the last one that I am going to be working with is called Rose Spray. This is one of their cool layering um, stamp sets and it always shows you on the back how to layer them up so that you can see how it works and there is a coordinating die set for that one as well. The other new exciting thing that has come out is the Alta New Embossing Paste. This is uh, going to be a great addition, fun to use with their stencils, which I will be using on the project that I'm going to create uh, in this video. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm starting with that embossing paste. And when I created this video, I got my dates mixed up and I'm actually going to be joining another blog hop um, on the 25th when this other stuff releases. So watch for another video from me focusing on the embossing paste and washi tapes. Um, but what I'm doing is I'm just mixing in some color using the Alta New uh, watercolor brush markers and I'm making a pink color because what I want to do is use this layered Dahlia um, I want to say stamp set, but it is a stencil. And I'm going to do the first layer with this light pink embossing paste I've created. And then once it dries, I'm going to go back in with the second layer and put some ink on top. So you'll see that here in just a little bit. But I'm basically just using a little scraping tool there to put on the embossing paste. And my idea for this is that I would create a band using the stenciled portion and um, I would put my photo on the center of the band or embellishment so that it would cover up uh, that join and so it would look like it was just one band across the layout. Now it does take a while for this to dry so what I'm going to do is I will set that aside to dry. I'm just um, kind of cleaning off my stencil on another piece of paper because sometimes I like to punch shapes out of that. But what I'm going to do is while that's drying, I'm going to work on a card. So I am taking that, um, is it called Everyday Doodles? 
I can't remember, but I will make sure to link to everything. Uh, in, I'm using that stamp set to stamp with some clear uh, sticky ink, Versamark ink, and then I'm going to gold heat emboss that. And so I'm just using a little piece of watercolor paper that I had been doing some practice um, face drawings on, and I am going to emboss a couple of these floral clusters and I decided to do it on watercolor paper because I'm going to use my Altenew watercolors to color these florals in. And I love using embossing, uh, heat embossing to kind of hold the color in when I'm uh, watercoloring. It, it helps to hold the color within the shape. Uh, and it's really nice. So here I have my Altenew watercolors. You can see they're very well used <laughs> and loved. Um, I played with these nonstop for probably a month when I got them. But basically I kind of wanted to do a color scheme where I had some like purples and purpley pinks and a bit of yellow. And so that's kind of uh, the color that I'm going to, the color scheme that I'm going to focus on. So I'm painting uh, some of those flowers with the purpley color and then the ones that have the centers, I'm going to paint in a more yellow tone and then I'll also paint the leaves green. I'm trying to paint the center of the flower a little bit of an orangey brown color um, and then on this smaller cluster there aren't any flowers like the purple ones at the bottom but I'm going to paint uh, some of I think they're supposed to be leaves I'm going to paint them as flowers so that I can get that in. I think they have a similar shape to them so you could make them flowers or leaves and I just decided to make some of them into flowers. So I'm just kind of coloring them in the same fashion and then I'm going to use some green. I kind of wanted a bright color so I'm using um, a lighter green for my leaves and this is just a really really easy simple way to add a bit of color to your stamping and you don't have to be perfect at it um, just dropping some color in it just gives a really nice look and then uh, I have the coordinating dies which is going to help give this a nice finished look so I went ahead and die cut those out off screen and I'm just going to use a piece of white cardstock and I'm going to um, put my my uh, stamped images in the corners and then I'm going to stamp uh, this. This is from the stamp, a different stamp set. Again, I can't remember what they're called for some reason at this very second, but I will make sure to link to them in the video description. But I'm just using some black Altenew ink and uh, stamping that down. And then I'm using some of the new gold line washi tape and I'm going to put that on my card base and I just uh, want to create a border. So because this is a thick washi tape, I don't need to use, I don't need to um, cover the whole background, although I could because there's a lot of it on that roll. But what I decided to do is just use one piece and then I'm going to use it for the whole border and just use my scissors to kind of trim it as I go. And so um, I'm just creating a little border with the washi tape for my card because I have the gold embossed floral images. I, I thought that this gold washi tape would be a nice addition to the outside edges. And again, this washi tape releases on the 25th and I will have a video focusing more on those the tape and the uh, embossing paste on that day. But uh, for now, let's go back to our little stamped images here. I kind of decided that I wanted it to have some dimension, but I put uh, regular adhesive on the bottom half of the floral piece, and then I put dimensional adhesive on the top. And I will just trim those flowers wherever they're hanging off the edges and uh, doing the same thing on that top flower. And this is just going to be a super simple card. Uh, after I add those little stamped images. I trimmed off the edges and I'm going to also include a little bit of bling in the form of sequins and I decide to go with gold because uh, I wanted to play up the gold and so I'm just adding a few sequins from my stash here and I will glue those down and that will be this card. I really like that Nouveau adhesive because it holds everything down really really nicely. Um, I decided to add a few more sequins and I think this also would have been really great with the iridescent sequins that I tried out at the beginning because they kind of have a purple tone to them and they really brought out the purple in the flowers but 
I decide to use the gold. Anyway, so that card is finished. I'll come back to it later in the video and uh, show you photos at the end, but now I'm going to keep working on my layout. So I'm adding that other stencil on top and I'm using the ink and an ink blending tool to just kind of um, add the color into all of those spaces. And you'll see when I pull this up, how it gives this really cool dimensional look to the embossing portion. And I really, really love the way that it turned out. Uh, you can get that look with just, just by stenciling in a couple of different colors, but I really like the dimension that um, making the base layer with embossing paste gives to it. So you'll see the, that in the close-up photos a little bit better. But I really love the way this turned out. And I think I'm using cotton candy ink from Alta New. Um, I didn't stay perfectly within those lines of the stencil. And you can see it's not exactly lined up. But when I put my photo across the middle, it looks just fine. So I'm using a photo of me and my bestie and my aunt. Uh, in Phoenix, she kind of took us around when we were down there. Um, I went for creativation and uh, my bestie came with me early to just do a little bit of sightseeing. So I'm going through these papers, which I failed to show you at the beginning of the video. I meant to and completely forgot, um, but I will link to them. They are, both of these paper packs are really gorgeous and they have some really pretty um, papers in them. And I love this floral that I could just fussy cut out of this particular paper and I'm going to use that as kind of my main focus uh, on this layout. I'm going to cut it in two and use it in two spaces. It's large enough to do that. I'm going to put it above and below my photo. Now you can see for my photo mat I used two of the same six by six pattern paper and I lined it up so it looked like a chevron a little bit and then I'm going to use these alphabet puffy alphabet stickers that are from the um, from the March release, the scrapbooking collection. Uh, I think it's called Live something. <laughs> I cannot think of the names of anything, but again, guys, I will link to everything in the video description. I'm so sorry. Um, but I'm going to use a stamp and stamp the word thank you because I wanted to make this layout about how grateful I was for my aunt for taking us around. She let me borrow her car. She was just very, very accommodating and it was very nice. So my video is going to cut out, but basically I'm just going to glue that down. This is going to be very, very simple. And I end up sprinkling a little bit of gold color shine around. I'm just adding some foam adhesive to the back of that and I will pop it up and I will add a little bit of journaling. So here you can see that final uh, layout and you can see I just added the journaling a couple of little chipboard hearts and the date and that completed it so very very simple but very very cute and I really love the way that embossing paste looks there are close-up photos coming up here of this layout and then I have some other uh, I did another layout and a couple of cards that I'll show you as well so here you can see the way that embossing paste gives um, some dimension and it looks really super cool so here is a close-up of that card that I created. I also created another card using the rose spray stamp set and dies, and you can see that to the right there. And it was just a very simple, simple card. And I used the embossing paste on the background with a stencil, stamped my rose spray images and die cut them out, and then added my sentiment with some vellum so that you could see through to the prettiness behind it. Um, lastly, I created a layout using that nice big floral stamp and then I used just the dies from the watercolor uh, stamp set that had the watercolor florals and it just, um, I cut those out of the patterned papers from one of the six by six packs. So pretty, very artsy looking. You can see the colors here. I just love the way it turned out. Um, and I think they look really cool. I also stamped some sentiments on the um, on a piece of white cardstock that I put behind my photo. You can kind of see it there. And I think that turned out fun as well. So I just used those, um, those dies with the uh, patterned papers and cut them out rather than using the stamps. And I think that you can use them alone or together because the stamps are just um, 
kind of a shadow image anyway, the dyes work well alone too. So here's another full view of that video, and I hope that you will check out the blog hop. Head over to my blog at craftygenscow.com. Again, that will be linked below, and you'll find out all the details about lots of prizes and all the other people who are joining in on this awesome hop. Alta New has been one of my favorite companies, and I love their products. Here are a couple of other videos of where I used Alta New products to create some projects, and I hope that you will check out the blog hop over on my blog. Thank you so much for stopping by and I hope to see you again very, very soon.